Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fairy Rain, and we are doing very good in this game. We passed the first trial, dotted letters. This is the second trial, the electric one. Now, apparently, this is the hardest. Don't know if that's true, but like and subscribe if you enjoy this episode, and let's find out. Come on, Ethan. I would just never do this. I'd do it for my son, but I wouldn't do it. Or any other time. Alright, he doesn't want to go through. Okay. Try that one. Oh god, what buttons? Oh my god, Ethan, make up your mind. I'm pressing the buttons. The spaces are different. Some condensers work easier to pass than others. Try that one then. Oh god, what the buttons? Alright, we got through one. Try that one. Ah! Shit, I pressed the sway up and said. Ah, shit. How am I going to hit L? Shit, how am I doing hit R1? Right, I don't know. I'm having to use like my nose, honestly, for this. I don't know how am I meant to do this? Oh, make your mind up! Right, let's try that one. See? Oh, we're nearly there. We can do it. We can do it. Come on, Ethan. L2 R2 And X Come on, I can't pass it so much Honda Oh my god, that was nearly over there Come on, we're still close, we're one away We are one away We can do it And jump! Oh, leap! Nice, Ethan. We done it. Second trial complete. That was the hardest, though. Nice. Right, Sean again. I'll save you. Just hang on. Hey, it looks like Rosa fell. Maybe. Oh, 
Alright, child free. It's so sad. Imagine this actually happened to your son or daughter. It would just be so sad. I don't imagine it. I mean, if anything happened to my son or daughter, I probably wouldn't be here. Right, we're well, Madison. Yay, I like Madison. Plus, she's got a nice bum. Electrified. That was my trophy. Oh, is she don't even. Help him again. Yeah, she's done to help him again. Why are you so nosy, Madison? Oh, okay. Maybe help him then. Oh, my God. I'll get him to bed. You don't need to lift him. He's a ton of weight though. Try to deal with a drunk person, you ever tried that? It's hard. Okay, so he's nice and relaxed. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Kinda. Right, so we need something for the fever. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. Do you nosy? <laughs> And then she knows. Origami figures. What is he doing with them? And then she knows about it as well, so maybe she can help him. Oh my god. What happened to him? Do you not tell he's got burn marks on his chest? Madison. You've got a hell of a fever. Okay. I don't want to touch these burn marks. Are those burn marks on your chest? <laughs> Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Yeah, dirty stuff, or you I dirty do. Clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Do I really want to touch it? Those are serious burns. Maybe not the best thing to touch I don't know them. If I can do anything for you. Right up now. He needs first aid. There should be all I need in the medicine cabinet. <laughs> Back to the medicine cabinet. Just take everything. Why did she not do that the first time? Right, so he's got a fever, disinfectant, and maybe pain towels. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Right, pain towels first. Medicine. Uh, anti fever. Right, 
No, no water. He needs water to take them. Right, back to the medicine. And let's go with pain teller. I'm not joining you, Ethan. I'm trying to help. Right, disinfectant. On his, on his tops. I need to go really slow. Your wounds are disinfected. Right, ointment. Maybe for the the bun marks, the to it. Take it easy. I was taking it easy. That should ease the pain. And then a bandage for it. Do I want another fever pill? I don't need to eat that up for this one. Okay. This is on your hurt, but we need to get it done. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's out of He's it. unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. You've done enough, Madison. Does she like him? I get the feeling that she likes him. <laughs> She's falling asleep. That's funny. <sighs> well, he's alive. How do you feel? Like hammered shit. I've been better. Was I out for long? Three days. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Uh, memory. When I was a child. I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Uh, truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I 
do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. Uh, problems? You um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. Sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Help. Maybe I could help you. I no one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. You don't have to be such a death about it, though. She always only try to help. Okay. Madison. I don't want that girl to get involved. No one must know until I find my son. Must must stay on my feet. But there's no clothes at all. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. I need to get going. I've already lost too much time. Right, third challenge. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Marble Street. A sacrifice? Okay. Alright, we're Madison again. We just went to her. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Oh, it's him. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? Why did they say Madison there? I, I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. Please. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. Oh no. I asked him where he'd been. He uh he spoke about drowning the rain. Um he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. The music's far too loud for this game. There may be no connection. The next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Uh... Reason, it's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Uh, 
incestus. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Uh oh. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know, or I am really gonna lose my temper. What are you doing? You out of your mind? Back up, Jamie. This guy knows something, and I'm not leaving here. You have tell no me what it is. Right. No, leave him alone, you bully. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. Ooh. What's up with you, Norma? You getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're going to stop this shit right now. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Hmm. I know a dummy feather. Interesting. That's the same day. The top, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be the bad top. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. No, he's not. I really don't think it's Ethan. Why would he kidnap his own son? I know he has blackouts, but why would he kidnap his own son? This doesn't make sense. Oh, but I did say no. Keep Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Big stick, little ball. Never could see the point of this game. I wonder what we're going to talk about. The most exclusive golf club in town. Strange place for an appointment. Well, well, an old friend. Right, and I end the episode there. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much.